So the real-time computing is a specific branch of computing in which the response time of a system is a key component of a result. So in other terms, we might say that in a real-time system, we don't care not only about the result, but also when we receive it. Now, sometimes when we receive the response might be even more important than the actual result. So, so let me give you a few more details on what is CP. So CP is an evolution of the event processing that allows to the system to react to temporal correlation among different events. And the system, in case of course, TRUES, provides tools to make easy to, to the user to mix the information available by creating extractions and projections and joining different kinds of events all together. So let's discuss um, some of the details and uh, how CP is in, actually implemented in TRUES. So firstly, um, we should talk about evaluation mode in Drus. So by default, Drus runs in this mode that is called cloud mode. So cloud mode is the default for Drus in which facts uh, don't have uh, any particular orders and uh, you basically cannot use CEP with cloud mode. And to use CEP, you have to enable what is called the stream mode in which uh, every event inserted in rules will have an order and will have timestamp and will ha you will have you you can use the temporal operators and you can you can also use um, other features such as uh, sliding windows for example so to configure the cloud mode or stream mode you can do it in uh, in the k module or can do it in java um, I might say that most of the time we would probably do in the in the K module XML because in most of the project uh, you either have CEP enabled or you either don't. I can see where there is a case in which you want to enable CEP programmatically using Java, but still I don't know there might be cases. So you also have a Java programmatic interface. So in a stateless computation, the results are computed only based on the input provided by the user. In a stateful computation is that the results are based on the input and on the current state of a system, in our case, versus working memory. And since we are dealing with time, it's essential in a CEP computation to have the memory of every event inserted in the past, as Karina was saying, because they are needed to trigger the specific business rule. For example, if I need to trigger a rule that fires after five minutes have passed from the current event, I need as an input the current event, which is the input from the outside, and every single event that happened before. So basically that's the state of the system, so that I can check my temporal constraint. If there are events that were received before five minutes, the rule shouldn't fire. So finally, we're going to see in Drews what is an event. And the definition of an event in Drews is very simple. It's a, a simple fact that uh, a simple object that you insert inside the working memory with a timestamp or two. If you don't provide a timestamp, um, the insertion type will be used. And to say that a, that a class and that a type is uh, not only a fact, but is also an event, you can use this, uh, this annotation called or key API definition type role which you have to pass event, and you can use it either on the POJO if your POJO is yours, or maybe on the declare type or via DRL if you, the type comes from an external jar. Well, another important thing that we have to say, uh, it's about immutability. Uh, immutability, you probably already know this, is the idea of the event uh, that you shouldn't change the objects when they're inserted. And uh, of course, events are immutable. If you start modifying immut immutable events, then the worst thing will happen. So we cannot enforce immutability because as you probably already know, Drus is based on Java and Java doesn't enforce immutability any anyhow, um, but we can ask the user, please do not change the timestamps of the events. Otherwise, something bad will happen to your system. What you could do instead is to enrich the events with new data. But please, please, please don't change the existing, okay?